What's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. I'm going to show you guys how to make the best tuna sandwich ever. First of all, I need to find the mayo in the fridge. Oh, found it. Big ass fucking jar. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Murphy, Charlie Murphy. Look at that bad boy. Okay, okay. So what you need is bread. Check. Go ahead, hate on this video all you want. Once it goes viral, you know. Then we'll talk numbers. Ah. Now for all you little youngsters that are coming across my channel and never made a tuna sandwich before. Holy shit. Where have you been? Clip it. Like such. And then you drain it. Okay? Whoa, shit. Blooper. So, the key here is to get this tuna as dry as possible. Okay? Ugh. Hell, I'm basically a bachelor living with my girlfriend because half the shit I like I gotta cook myself and I don't like cooking so macaroni and sandwiches is pretty much it unless she cooks so and who doesn't like takeout but strain this you gotta strain it and you can cut it once you're done make sure you clean these they do rust and let that mofo dry. Okay. So you want this dry as hell? Ew, there's a lot of shit in here. There's a lot of juice. Can you guys see that? Fuck. I'm squeezing jizz out of a fucking elephant dick. <laughs> Oh fuck. New topic. Too much jackass in my head. Okay. Once that's dry and your hands smell like shit, this fish reeks, but guess what? It tastes amazing! I use the whole can when I make sandwiches. I make about two or three with them. With one can. I know it's a lot, but. I don't let this sit shit. This shit sit. This shit sit in the fridge. Nice and dry. See that? Stick a needle in your grandma's eye. Your mother's eye. Your chef's eye. Uh oh, I hear the kitty. Meow. Kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Oh, kitty cat. You want some tuna? Okay, now for the gross part. Take a new utensil. Should I use the spoon? Hold on. And just give her. You want to add enough mayo? Okay, it should be plenty. That it soaks it all in, gets rid of that dry. Now if you prefer to add your your mayonnaise separate, that's fine because adding them together apparently makes it go bad quicker, I'm not too sure. But uh, I've seen it, Mr. Sub, they separate it because apparently it makes the tuna last longer. And then Subway, they add it together. Well, maybe Subway gets more customers and they don't have to worry about it going bad. I don't know. I've had this stuff sit in the fridge with mayo for like a week or two and it's fine. But, whatever. Leave it as you must. And of course, pepper. You know, if you don't like pepper, whatever, don't add pepper. I like pepper. That's flavor. 
Some people put salt on everything. That's just gross. Almost every food out there has salt in it. Now I'm a fat ass, so I'm just going to have a tad more mayo. Got to keep my man titties, you know, can't get rid of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm mixing in a matching, I'm in a mixing. Talking to a camera. Making YouTube videos. Can't pay my rent with YouTube money, gotta get a real job. It ain't funny. Some people living off YouTube. Guess it's better than welfare. There you have it. You know what, I could probably only make like two sandwiches with this. This shit is the bomb. It tastes amazing. If you've never tried tuna before, and this is coming from a picky kid, like growing up, being an only child, I was really picky. This shit tastes good. Really fucking good. Some people like the bread toasted. Not my cup of tea. Hey kitty! Meow! Eat some more tune. But try it out. Mm, before you know it, have yourself a delicious homemade tuna sandwich. I uh, thank you very much for watching that video and uh, please like and subscribe for more random videos and I'll catch you guys later.